How are we doing guys? Tap out here again with yet another video. Today's video is a video, I've, it's a method that I've been shown um, in the past. It's for anybody that's got a Sovereign. I think you can do this with a level 1 Sovereign, a, a Mark 1 Sovereign. Um, it's not my method, it's what I've been taught. However, I wanted to do a quick video on it because there's a couple of things that I didn't get taught which um, caught me up a couple of times. And the biggest one of them is being that if you've got the on guard overdrive on this uh, sovereign, what it does is when three or more enemies get within your arc, you do increased. I think you do increased damage. You help all the ships out within your, within your your arc, but uh, your shields basically just get tanked as well. On the negative spin of that, though, you also lose speed, which is not ideal for this method. For, uh, of, of for how we're going to farm these fleets. So the method I've got here is I've got my sovereign. I've taken the on guard overdrive off. If you can get the shield regen on the stick it on there, I, I've taken it off for some reason. I can't remember why. Um, get it kitted out as best you can. Obviously, it's always going to help. Um, you're going up against Umbra ships, so it doesn't really matter um, if you've got the ones twos or threes if you can get threes put them on because obviously they have no resistance against the alien damage just make sure you don't have that on guard overdrive on there um stick commander bear on there and basically we're ready to go before we head out i'll show you what the on guard overdrive looks like just so you know which one i'm talking about i believe it's this one um as i said these are the perks it does support field but it doesn't say anywhere that it slows you down Fleet uh, field weapon speed increase. So any ships within the, the field uh, get 50% speed increase. They get shield the uh, shield defense is increased by 5%. Support range of the field itself is 11,000 meters. So any of the ships that are in that range get this this um these bonuses. But as I've said to you, it doesn't say anywhere about it slowing you down. However, it really really does. I would show you, but I don't really want to lose one of my one of my sovereigns because we're currently in the middle of the event so this video is going to be very quick i'm just going to throw this um this one sovereign not at that i'll have a look, try again at the um umbra crusaders i believe it's crusaders no that's all turning crusader i don't even know what i'm looking for stand by guys i'll find the right fleet uh where are we Umbra Overseers. There we go. Now, I made a mistake last time. I did try and do this video once before, and I made a mistake because I've only got 110 saved. And whilst I got distracted talking about the 110, I didn't find a 100. Threw my sovereign in there and obviously lost it. So this is round two. And this time, before I forget, we are going to find one of the Overseer 100s because that's the one we want to killing here we have one i'll tag it this time just in case the difference between the overseer 100s and the 110s is the 100s have um basically phoenixes in there um augers and a couple of wraiths that's pretty much the, the build up of that fleet when you go up to the 110 it has all of the above plus the behemoth which is the fleet that you're actually trying to get you need a thousand of these fragments to get the behemoth. Um, the maximum you can get per hit is 10. So you're looking at a minimum of 100 hits. And that's if you're very lucky. So there's quite a lot of farming to be done. My advice for that is maybe do 10 a day. Um, get, your, get your ship ready to do this battle. Ready for this farming method. Attack it a couple of times. Have a break. Come back attack a couple of times and have a break make sure you get your scrappers out there and take up any resources that you're going to be leaving behind you never want to be leaving them behind really i wish you could turn off that message because it pops up all the time so there is a strategy to this um hence the video so that you guys can watch it repeatedly um and learn learn the directions it's very simple, it's easy to get the hang of, and 
you shouldn't really lose your ship. I think I only lost it twice um, throughout my whole 1000 fragments farming. Um, and two of them were because I attacked and didn't actually pay attention to what I was doing. I was talking to someone else. So the first thing you want to do is target this ogre because this guy can attack you quicker than these guys can with these extended range. Um, I always turn AI off as well, by the way. Just so it doesn't start doing anything random that you don't want it to do. This guy speeds up, comes down on the inside, and starts giving you some damage. Um, you should be hitting that one first. But obviously, that one will be the only one in range, so you don't need to worry about targeting that. Then you target this one. You shouldn't really take any hits. You've got that extra damage from Burr if you've got him attached to your fleet. He gives an extra 25%, I believe. You start moving up this way. They're always going to be out of out of range. Um, by the time you hit the last one... Nah, it's that one. I knew there was a way that you'd do it. Um, if you can, target the outside one so that you hit that one first. Because this one here, when you target that one, these guys start moving towards you. It's not an issue, really, because you're going to have... You're going to be dealt with this one by the time you get up there anyway. So the next step is you want to head towards these, this, this big fleet of phoenixes. And basically you want to turn around and head to this gap just before they get to your shield. So round about now, start turning. You'll finish him off before he gets anywhere close to you. And what that does is, whilst you're polishing off this first one, these three get within range. Keep angling down, you'll destroy them three in a wanna before they get anywhere near you. Keep going, direct away, directly away if, you, if it makes it, if it makes you feel better. Again, now these three come in. You know, dealt with them before you get anywhere near this nebula, so you don't need to really worry about it. It's not going to cause you any harm, and they're done. Start heading back up to this fleet now. As you can see, it's an easy method. You're just slowly but surely polishing them off at distance before they actually cause you any harm or any bother. Um, I'd be very happy if we can get this to be a, a flawless run, but sometimes these cheeky little gits get your little, the odd shot off at you. Um, so what we do is we get these guys starting to get closer in now. We're nearly taking a shot at them, so we start heading upwards. Send it north. Off we go with him. Nice and easy. These guys are still far away. Second one gets it. That's that one done. This guy comes in, like you said, that, that range is just unreal. You're not going to have any issues with this. The only issues you're going to have is maybe signal uh, or a bit of lag. I always try and edge towards this fleet when I can at this point because obviously you want to try and get it done as quick as possible so that you can get onto the next farm. Keep checking where he's at. It's a lot harder on the mobile phone, but I did most of my farming on the mobile version. It's easy enough to do, it just takes a little bit more concentration because obviously you've got a small screen, not as um, precise directions and, and, and marking and targeting. You do end up, especially with me, I, I end up um, double tapping on certain things and um, strafing instead of turning and running it can be a pain again sometimes it's worth just strafing back let him catch up as you saw there a little quick movement miles easier on the PC like I'm using now a lot harder to do that when you're doing um, doing it on the mobile phone obviously remember to click click twice then click click again and then click the second time to take it from your strafe mode to your straight direct travel mode this is pretty much it guys that's it these guys will catch up now you'll polish that one off these guys will come up the best thing to do is just, just click there and let it finish itself off you don't really need to do much then um, they're not going to get close to you if you think that you're going to get too close to the barrier before they get in range again quick flick like that and they're in you're in your range the problem with doing that is it does sometimes let them get a little bit closer than you would like. Um, they are quicker than you, marginally. As you can see, he's, he's catching up. He's not going to catch up because I was saying I'm going to absolutely beat him to death with these beams. But 
just something for you to consider. Like I said, always take your scrappers. That's 35 million plus whatever I got from there. So 40 million you're going to be getting. As long as you've got her on there as well, you'll probably get an extra four. This will probably stack up to, right, there you go, 43, 47, 48 million just short of um, resources there. Like I said, with that on guard overdrive on, the, play, the part in which you're going to come unstuck is when them phoenixes are chasing you down. As soon as you get them three within your range, they do catch up because you you are moving considerably slower. They do catch up, they do some decent damage on you, take your shields off pretty quickly because they're doing explosive damage. And then by the time all six of them are caught up, they can destroy you pretty quick. So that's the biggest tip, take the on-guard overdrive off. Um, I always start off in the bottom left corner of the, um, the box formation because you're already as far over to the position you want to be going anyway because like I said, as soon as we started, we moved down in that direction, didn't we? So you're already there, ready with a head start on them ships that are going to chase you down first. Mark off that first battleship and away you go, steady as you goes. That's it guys, it's only a short video just to show you how to get your behemoth if that's what you want. Like I said at the beginning of the video, not my method. However, um, a couple of things that weren't explained to me did cause me a little bit of um, a delay in getting the behemoth. When I find a, a decent behemoth Mark II, I'll get one of the videos created for you uh, and show you how I'm doing it and, and likewise with the orator. The orator, if you've seen that video already, is pretty simple. It's the same method, just use um, some long range ships to back it up and get that, that kill quicker because the fleet doesn't really change much. The difference with these is that obviously the 110 throws in that behemoth, um, which if you haven't got some decent long range ships can become a lot more of a task. Anyway guys, that's it for now for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and all that stuff. Um, if you think there's anything that you would like to add or anything I could have done better, give us a shout. I'd love to hear your feedback. For now, that's Tap Out signing out. Enjoy, guys. Take care.